What's up guys? I'm here in one of the biggest Dominican neighborhoods in New York City. You're gonna hear more Spanish over here than English. There's no parking. Let me say it one more time. It's Dykeman and Broadway, the mixiest spot of it all. Line of bars and clubs. You can see it's still a little rocking in there. I gotta go. This is Mama Sushi. Here's another spot, Papacitos Bussin. It's another dope spot. Tabu, another spot. You can see the hookah bussin right there. Oh yeah, you need some quick, quick drinks. Mama Juana is a special place. You gotta hit it when you're out here in Dykeman. What's up guys? I'm here in New York City and guess what? I'm in one of the biggest Dominican neighborhoods in New York City, in Manhattan. So I'm gonna show you guys around. I'm gonna try to catch some crazy footage. But look, I'm gonna give you guys a whole tour of this area. Let's get into it. So guys, this is Dykeman, infamous Dykeman. If you know anybody who lives in New York City, they'll tell you Dykeman is where it's at. Now Dykeman is located in an interesting area. Why do I say that? It's meshed between the Bronx, Upper Manhattan, and Harlem. So it's meshed between three neighborhoods that all come and party and turn up in this area. Now guys, as you can see from my big coat, it's winter. And New Yorkers, we don't like to hang around the streets and party in the streets in the winter. But I can tell you guys, in the summer, this whole strip is lit. It's lit up. So Dykeman is located in Uptown Manhattan. It's not a big neighborhood, but it holds a lot of weight. Um, it's definitely a place you want to come to if you're from out of town and you into that reggaeton. You want to get a good meal, good Dominican meal. Um, food from my Boricuas, all that is in this neighborhood. But up here, it's the type of it's the part of it's a part of town that you won't hear much English. You won't hear more Spanish over here than English. They are gonna kill me when they see this video, cause I'm out here shooting. I'm supposed to be meeting up with them, but we heading down the blocks. Uh, I think I'm on 207 right now. What happened was, in real New York fashion, my train completely let me down this is a three stop train ride from harlem it turned into maybe a seven or eight two different trains they try to put a bus in there i wasn't with it so whew, this is what happens and this is especially important for all the people who are like oh well you don't need a car in new york because you got the trains yes but they're not reliable especially on a week on the weekends Now, heads up, again, another uh, problem about cars. You're gonna see, and even you probably can see over here, there's no parking. There's no parking. Let me say it one more time for the people in the back. There's no parking in Dykeman. It doesn't exist. I'm sure the people in Dykeman hate all the club owners because boy, let me tell you, it is always packed and there's never parking. <sighs> all right, guys, let me knock out some of these blocks before this, this girl kills me. It's another dope spot, Republica. I was actually supposed to go to that spot, but I changed it last minute. All right, I'll be back, guys. Right, guys, so just in a minute, we're gonna get to the spot that I was supposed to be let off uh, before my train went haywire on me. We're gonna get to the A train. That's the fastest way to get to Dykeman.
Alright guys, Dykeman and Broadway. This is the mixiest spot of it all. In the summertime, packed. Everything busting. People sitting outside. This whole shit right here, bananas. You can't even drive your car back and forth. It's a slow night, for whatever reason. It's a slow night. I'm not sure if it's just early. It's 10 p.m. right now. I guess people are pretty, you know, pretty much night hours out here, but this is where you want to get to. Dykeman and Broadway. Let's check it out. And this is the train that failed me. You see how much convenient this would have been? It's completely failed me. Look, you can see the red tape. I'm not lying. So basically right here is a whole line of bars and clubs. You can see it's still a little rocking in there. I gotta go because they playing that Bad Bunny. And I can tell you right now, YouTube do not play about the Bad Bunny. Here's another spot, Papacitos. Be busting. People outside, so many people. Just keep it moving down the block. <laughs> it's funny in here they stay, they put in a little dress, <laughs> little dress spot. Taboo, another spot. You can see the hookah busting right there. Who could be busting, man? I'm telling you, summertime and why? Crazy. Taco spot, same thing. But right here is where we're headed. This nice spot right here. My favorite spot personally. Alright guys, look, I reached my destination. This is the spot to be. This is Mama Sushi. One of my favorite spots out here. But this whole block in the summer is packed out. Right now it's brick. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's... I got smoke coming out of my mouth. But look, all this should be lit. But we're going to check the spot out. Alright guys, so here's Mama Sushi's sushi menu and I wanted to let you see exactly what they got on this menu. So as you can see, Mama Sushi is like a fusion type restaurant and they mix basically Japanese cuisine with uh, a touch of Dominican cuisine and put the two together and boom, you got Mama Sushi. <laughs> so I wanted to pause here because I want to show you guys the theme and why it's like a super Dominican restaurant. Um, so as you guys can see up top on the left, you got La Chapeadora. Um, La Chapeadora is kind of slinging Dominican Republic for a gold digger. <laughs> Someone who was with you just for your money, just to use you. Um, you also got uh, Tigres, which is El Tigres. And Tigre, Tigres in Dominican Republic are, you know, these clever, like slick talkers, fast talkers. If you guys watch my other videos, I explain, you know, Tigres. The ones that be on Boca Chica Beach and around, you know, different tourist spots, basically trying to, you know, get your coins. Then you got Via Mejia, which is a neighborhood. Um, it's actually a neighborhood that I lived in when I was out in DR. Um, I got a video coming super soon about that. I'm gonna go visit and show you guys that area. But yeah, basically all the sushi on here is kind of homages to DR um, and homages to the area of Manhattan. They got in Wood, which is a Manhattan, which is a New York neighborhood um and a bunch of other stuff on here but i'm gonna let you get back to it
I'm a hard one. Yeah, I just want to. It's loud in there too. Oh, but it's Mama Wana Cafe. Look, guys, we got the popular Mama Wana right here. Another spot, like I said, it's on the same block. Not the same block, but you can see, like, this Mama Wana right here. Mama sits right there. So just a block away, I'm telling you. About to be. And guys, right down here, if you keep walking straight, I'm not going to walk there because it's way too cold. But right down there is La Marina. <laughs> La Marina is there, right? La Marina is straight down here. Maybe like a four minute block. Or oh, four minute block. Four minute walk. But right here, you got another spot. Again, be super lit. This grocery store is another spot you want to check out if you're out here and you need some quick, quick drinks. Just come here and it's lit. What about this? Um, let's check that out. I was going to this guy because it looks kind of funny. Cool. <laughs> this look calmer than the other spot. Yeah, me do. <laughs> I was about to say, is this, is that right? <laughs> I was about to say, is this after COVID? Is this the after COVID vibe? I think it's the cold. Yeah, it's the cold. It's the first. Look, guys, we about to head into Mama Wana. It's a calm night, but I bet you Mama Wana is still going to offer something special. Look, Mama Wana is a special place. It's a different place. You got to hit it when you're out here in Dykeman. And yo, I just want you guys to trust me on this right now. It's the first week of the cold wave in New York. A lot of people is not coming out in this weather. I came out just to show you guys. So look, this is the spot to be at in the summer. I'm telling you, it's rocking, guys. Just believe me. In the summer, this is the place to be. But just add this to your to-do list when you're in New York. Let's get into it. <laughs> 